I knew when Rich Harris was hired by Vercel that this meant better support for SvelteKit on Vercel was coming soon. Well, it is here. Let's explore how you can optimize your SvelteKit apps with new features on Vercel. Jumping right in at number one, we've got per route data fetching and rendering. This gives you full control over how each of your routes are deployed to Vercel as functions. What's new for configuring your SvelteKit routes on Vercel? You now have the option to choose whether a route uses serverless or edge functions and whether it dynamically renders data, pre-renders data, or uses incremental static regeneration. Each function type, serverless and edge functions, has its own advantages. Edge functions are faster, cheaper, and have longer timeouts, while serverless functions are better for larger tasks like dynamic content generation or authentication. To configure a route for SvelteKit on Vercel, you can export a config constant in your pluspage.server.js file. That determines the rendering strategy for the dynamic data of that particular route. You can also tweak the runtime behavior of your entire application by modifying the svelte.config.js file. This allows you to set a default runtime configuration for the entire app. You also can mix and match. One of the new powerful features now supported in SvelteKit is incremental static regeneration. ISR allows you to create and update static pages on demand after the initial build, offering significant gains in build times and static generation. ISR combines the benefits of both static site generation and server-side rendering. It provides fast load times for end users, reduces server load, and enables content updates without rebuilding the entire site. This can greatly improve your app's performance and your SEO ranking. To configure ISR in your SvelteKit app, you simply need to include the ISR property in your server-side config object of the respective routes file. This allows you to set the expiration time for cached assets and other advanced options. You can also include a bypass token to programmatically bypass or refresh the ISR cache whenever you need to. Apart from the new features in SvelteKit, deploying your app on Vercel brings additional benefits now. Let's quickly explore some of them. Vercel now provides native data solutions like Vercel KV, Postgres, and Blob, which allow you to read data at the edge without querying an external database. This significantly improves latency and performance. With Vercel, you can have preview deployments of your SvelteKit app, allowing you and your team to view and edit the site before it goes live. You can even make edits directly on the web page, similar to how you would in Figma. This streamlines collaboration and speeds up the development process. Vercel Web Analytics offers easy integration with your SvelteKit project. With just three lines of code, you can track and monitor your application's traffic over time. Coupled with Speed Insights, you'll have a clear picture of your app's performance for your users. Deploying your SvelteKit app on Vercel now means more flexibility, faster data fetching, and better team collaboration tools. You have access to edge-based data solutions, per route configuration options, preview deployments, native analytics, and much, much more. Vercel's native integrations with popular tools also make it easy to customize your workflow. Shout out to Rich Harris, who is bringing it together for the SvelteKit team on Vercel. I hope you found this information helpful in enhancing your web development projects. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel for more updates on the latest technologies and frameworks. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear from you. Also, my channel membership is live if you want to support more content like this. Stay tuned for more exciting content, and we'll see you in the next video.